Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. Strasbourg will play today against Toulouse. So this is how the hosts line up today. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. Toulouse will line up like this. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone frontman. Silla. It could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Can really get at the opposition here. Gets his cross in. Good defensive clearance there. Just working away to try and find an opening. We've given it straight to the opposition. It's a very good interception. And now the shot! That's quite a comfortable save, really. Striding forward, purposefully. And it's going to be his throw here. Perrin. And then the shot go! Well, it's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. Corner swung in, cleared away by the defender. There's a dangerous feel to this attack, it's looking good from their point of view. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. But where's the marking here? He's got his shot off now. Comfortable stop, goalkeeper not troubled. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Must take the lead here. Cuts out. Powerful drive. Close enough to suggest. Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Slip past his marker, able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. And the goalkeeper, it's his ball. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Put in from the wide area. How about that for a goal? It's given them the breakthrough. 
and they've had to work very hard to find a way through this defence. But when it came, it was superbly taken. And they're absolutely thrilled with the way they've got the lead here. Well, they're going to go in really happy, having scored right on half-time. The opposition just the opposite. Yeah, the task for the goal-scoring team is to try and keep the momentum after the break now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And that's half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. Change of ends, and the second half is underway. Good vision to be able to switch the play there. Untidy work. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Oh, it's good first half performance from him. And not just with the late goal, which was really important to get his team ahead, but everything he did was nice and sharp. Any miscalculation here, it would have been a penalty. Perrin. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Free kick given. Activity. On the bench for the losing team, a substitute getting ready to come off. Here's Pera. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. He's got the ball back. Well, the defender. He's got it away. That's an easy cut-out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Silla. Gives it away. We're looking at a well-coached team here, drilled in, winning the ball back in midfield as a group. It just doesn't happen overnight, this kind of pressing. And it's working well for them, showing how much they've put into their training sessions. And they've got a man out wide. And shoots! Well, that was a good chance to get level here. Well, it certainly was. Good move, too, and give him another chance. I think he might take it. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Delivered into the box. Safety first there. Can find some space here on the flanks. A bright idea, but he couldn't manufacture the pass that would have got his teammate away and in on goal. Too much pressure for the opposition, who've lost the ball. It's a good cross. In with the header, and a good position, but he's put it wide. Yeah, it's a good chance. Not sure if that came off his shoulder, you know. Didn't look a clean connection. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. He had a neck. Here's the chance. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. 
85 minutes played, five to go. This might be an opportunity to get level. It's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation. They're in. This should wrap it up. It's a drive of some power, but off target. Yeah, unlucky. Didn't quite get set for that one. Referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Well, this could be their last chance to salvage something from this match. Well, that's good defending. He's gone in with the header. That's the final whistle from the referee. It's a fine performance.